Hey, what is up? This is Tyler Pratt. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about generating leads for your business and using it with uh, Facebook ads and only spending a dollar a day to do this. And we're gonna do it like a total boss. And if you're coming online and you wanna start generating leads, you wanna build your business, and you wanna get that lifestyle, that, that you know, laptop lifestyle, that total boss lifestyle where you take control of your life, we're gonna do that right here uh, on this video. But before we do that, click on that subscribe button and hit that bell button that way you get notified of all of the videos that i come out with on a daily basis so facebook ads right are so good they're so awesome right now but there is a very small time window that you need to jump on and right now is a great opportunity for you to get onto this bandwagon of facebook ads it's going to help you generate tons and tons of really high quality leads so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a facebook ad and what we're going to do is we're going to be creating video views Okay, so video views, uh, if, you, if you haven't been into Facebook ads, and you hadn't been into the business uh, section of Facebook, the advertisement, there's a bunch of different things you can actually target. You can do traffic, you can do uh, set up an ad for conversions, you can set up an ad for likes if you wanted to get a bunch of likes for your fan page, which I don't recommend you doing, but you can do it. There's also um, a couple other ways you can do this, uh, but one of the one of the really good ways to do is video views. Okay, so what what's going to happen is you're going to be able to upload a video, and you can do this a different, couple different ways. You can create a video like this. You can create a video where you do a screen capture of your um, your your computer. You could find a video online that you could use, uh, maybe on YouTube, or you could find a video. You know, maybe you're in a company right now, and the company has kind of a, a an opportunity video, or maybe a uh, a very you know like a, a video that's going to inspire people or get people excited you can use one of those videos just make sure it's not copyrighted and make sure that you can use it uh, so if you make your own video obviously that's not going to be copyrighted because you're going to control that but just make sure if you're going to be uh, downloading a video from uh, let's say a company or a company video or somebody else's YouTube channel you want to make sure that um, you're able to do that and a lot of times if you're in a company and they have and they put out videos a lot of times you can use those videos in your ad. So what you can do is you uh, download your video to your computer, and then once you get inside of your video, um, you know your uh, Facebook campaign, your Facebook ad campaign, you're going to upload that video, and this video is going to be playing in front of the audience that you um, target. Now here's the reason why we do this. This is so important because with Facebook video ads, you can actually get video um, views for about one cent. And that's all you should be looking for is one cent video views. If it goes higher than one cent, two cent, three cents, then you need to cut that video off because it's not very good. And if it's, if it's really high, it may be that your targeting doesn't match the video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload your video and you're gonna set it for video views. And then when you run the video, your ad with the video playing, you're going to start to monitor it. You're gonna start to see what's happening with it. So, the video views, you wanna make sure it's about one cent. Anything higher than that, it's not gonna be very good. The relevance score, if you're not familiar with the relevance score, you wanna make sure it's either seven, eight, or nine, uh, right in that eight, um, you know, the eight number. Relevance score, there's a score between one and 10. And Facebook is gonna basically give you a relevance score for your ad. If you're, if you're, if the, rel if, what it really is is that Facebook's gonna say, okay, this ad is relevant to the target that you're, Putting your ad in front of. If you're targeting, if you're trying to target men over the age of 50, but you're actually your video is, is targeting women in their 20s, then you're going to get a very low relevancy score. So the relevancy score on your video towards your target, if it's eight or above, then you have a very good video with your targeting. So this is something you're going to have to really kind of play with and kind of feel out to get that because your targeting is it's going to be a couple of different things you're going to be doing. Um, the one of the areas that I like to target is going to, I'm going to target my email list. I'm going to target my pixel uh, that I put onto my website. So everybody that comes to my website, I'm going to retarget them. And what I'll do is I'll take that retargeting traffic and I'll create a lookalike audience around that traffic because Facebook is going to give me a, a lot better targeted, um, you know, a lot better targeted audience than if I went out there and tried to figure out uh, an audience myself. But if you're just getting started, you want to just pick. Uh, Either you pick like a guru in your industry, you know, somebody that's that's kind of big, um, maybe not as big, like example, Tony Robbins. You don't wanna really pick Tony Robbins because you're gonna be competing with uh, people that have really big budgets. So find kind of find a smaller name that you can kind of target that maybe people aren't really targeting that much. 
You can also target magazines. Magazines are really good because they'll have fan pages. Uh, if you're into fitness, you know, like Iron Magazine or Fitness Magazine, things like that. Those are going to be really good places to target. Um, find smaller fan pages that uh, get a lot of, you know, have a lot of uh, engagement that you can target and you can put up there. Okay, so the targeting is going to be really important for your video. You want to make sure that you're matching that up. Now, with your video, what you want to do is is you're gonna you're gonna put your video up there, but in the description, you, um, what you want to do is put in uh, comment below or get more information. And the reason why you do that is because when you get more engagement with the ad, uh, Facebook's going to give you a better relevancy score. They're going to give you cheaper clicks. Uh, they're just going to look for the ad because it's it's all set up on a program. It's all set up on a machine. It's not like there's actual people looking at your ad. It's all set up on a you know it's a computer algorithm that looks at your ad so if your ad is up there and it's showing a video and it's saying comment below and info and you're getting a lot of comments and maybe people are liking the the, the ad it shows uh, Facebook that this ad is really good it's relevant and it could be you know a very good ad that they're going to continue to move to to keep showing to that audience if it's not a very good ad Facebook will actually they'll just kind of cut it off they won't even let you Put it in front of that target audience so that's the reason why you want to put comment below or info below now i don't agree i don't agree with if you're trying to you know on your your um, profile um you know comment below and info below but uh when you run just regular you know when you're on your on your uh, personal profile or you're on your fan page and you and you post something and you say comment below i don't really agree with that one because it's not really engagement that that good but if you're running an ad Comment below and, and asking for info, uh, more information is good because it shows the algorithm, the ad algorithm that your ad is good. And so what that is gonna do is gonna give you those cheap uh, video views. And those video views are gonna be so, it's gonna be like cheap, a dollar, I mean, it's gonna be like one cent video views. Now here's what you do is you, you run this for just a dollar a day. You can set it up for just a dollar a day budget. And you just run this and you let this run, okay, and you continue on. You could do this a couple different ways. You can just let it let it run for a dollar a day. You could get really cheap video views. People could comment below and they could ask more information and you can reach out to them and you can give them more information, okay? Or you could figure out that this video is really good and then you can move this ad or this video into a conversion type of ad. So if you figure out, yes, this, this video is good, this audience is very good, then change it over to a conversion ad. And then what you'll do is you'll start paying for the conversion of people clicking on the video link going to your opt-in form. So there's two different ways you can do that. You wanna feel it out and just kind of see uh, where, that, where, that, where you go with that. So it's important when you do video ads, when you run your video, it's gotta be one cent um, video views. If anything, anything higher than that, uh, turn off that video, it's not very good or your targeting doesn't match the video. Second thing is relevancy score. Make sure it's eight or above. That means that the Facebook is telling you or saying that this is a good ad. It's targeted well. The video matches the target. So they're gonna give you a higher relevancy score. And when they give you that high relevancy score, that's when you get the very low uh, video you know, video views. When you're, when you're paying two, three cents, four cents per video view, it means that the, the Video doesn't match the audience, okay? So Facebook is making sure that your video is matching the audience that you're putting uh, that information in front of. Okay, so relevancy score is eight above. And then when you run the, the video ad, just make sure that you put comment below or get some more information below. That way it gets engagement. It shows Facebook that your ad is very good and they're gonna keep that ad running, okay? So there you go, that's how you get, um, that's how you can get leads every day from your Facebook ads, getting leads to your business and you get really, really high quality people that will be interested in your products and your service for a very low cost of just a dollar a day, okay? Hey, if you like that, click on the like button. Also share it with your friends. Comment below, let me know how I can help your business. This is Tyler Pratt, I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you on the next one.